there's an old saying, why did man climb the mountain? The answer is simple, because it was there. But in reality, people climb mountains for many reasons. I think it was the freedom. I think um, it was the challenge, the physical challenge, and also the mental challenge. It is a physical and mental accomplishment, a sport where the mountain is the playing field. And conquering that mountain gives the climber great satisfaction. I found that it was something that really brought a focus in my life. Um, I didn't worry about anything outside. I didn't worry about schoolwork or things like that. Um, and I just had to focus on the area around me. And I just found that very freeing and centering. Cathedral Ledge State Park in Bartlett. At some 700 feet, visitors get stunning views of the Saco River Valley, White Mountains, and Echo Lake. We get a view in the first 20 minutes because we're above the trees, and it's awesome. So that helps. Plus, you know, it, it, it's a mental challenge as well. Charlie Townsend and Chris Graham are seasoned mountain climbers. Both have climbed all over the world, including Alaska, Yosemite, and South America. They are among the professional guides at Sinnet Mountain Climbing, based in Intervale. What's so special about New Hampshire? Uh, the White Mountains are just, I, I, this is where I was born and grew up in this area. Um, I kind of cut my teeth here at Cathedral Ledge back in the 80s. So this has always been a really special spot for me. In New Hampshire, the rough and ragged surface of these vertical cliffs are very popular with climbers all year long, even more so in the winter. I also like the all-consuming aspect of the weather, the circumstances, that is different every time. From beginner to expert, and everything in between, Synod Guides offer rock and ice climbing as well as guided hikes on Mount Washington all year, a peak that has the reputation of having the worst weather in the world. Charlie Townsend can attest to that. I've been on climbs in Alaska where I'm shouting through a storm to my partner, this is almost as bad as that time on Mount Washington. You know, I mean, it's that, that's serious. I mean, it's, it could be fierce. Mark Sinnott founded Sinnott Mountain Climbing. Mark is an accomplished climber who has scaled mountains all over the globe, including Everest. He has written for National Geographic magazine and other publications. Mark is a New York Times best-selling author and calls New Hampshire home. I mean, he's been such a figure in climbing. He's just traveled literally all over the world, you know, for a lot of National Geographic stuff and things with the North Face and et cetera. So every obscure spot you can think of, he's probably climbed there. You can't tell I'm smiling. <laughs> with Charlie and Chris providing instruction, I decided to give Mountain Climbing 101 a shot. How hard can it be? Geared up, Charlie explains rope techniques. Having a little friction device here means I can feed rope out and take rope in and control it. But if there were, if you were to fall on it, just even with two fingers, there's no way you can pull any rope through. Okay. And gives basic instruction on key commands. On belay means your partner is prepared to keep the tension of your rope. And I check it all out. I'm like, okay, Audrey, you're on belay, which means now I'm taking full responsibility. You don't need me for anything unless you fall off. <laughs> I need you. <laughs> I begin the quick descent to a ledge where I would be starting my climb. Chris was waiting, and that's when it hit me. It's a long way down. So what we're gonna do is gonna have you step towards me. I didn't realize it was so high. <laughs> so I'm gonna have you step back this way a little bit, and you're gonna face the camera. Oh my God. <laughs> and just go slow. Right up in the balls of your feet, and we're just gonna lower you, and you're gonna walk back slowly, okay? Think you can do that? My mind was willing, but my feet felt like uh, granite. I trusted my instructors, knew I was in good hands, but every time I looked over the edge, well, even my videographer knew there was fear behind my COVID-19 mask. Audrey, we can't tell if you're smiling or throwing up, so <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> After what seemed like an eternity, my instructors had to literally talk me off the ledge. Yeah, you feel that? It's pretty tight, yeah. It's pretty tight. Mm hmm And then we'll just... Oh, gosh. <laughs> we'll take a breath. It's when you loosen it that makes me nervous. Yeah. I could stand here all day. <laughs> 
But since we were not planning on spending the night, we compromised, and I chose to climb down instead of leaning back. This feels better. A little better? Yeah, and I'm not looking down. OK. And I found another little crevice. Reluctantly, yeah. I let go of my safety blanket, the rope, and let my hands and feet guide my way. With each step, confidence replacing fear. It feels okay. All right. So it was me work. versus the rock, and I had no intention of losing. Look at me, I'm a mountaineer. But the key I found for me, don't look down. Oh my God. I made my way down and then gripped each tiny crevice to pull myself back up my guides offering encouraging words along the way. Really think about those feet, where your feet are gonna go next. As I slowly inched towards the top, a mysterious bird, is that a vulture, circled ahead. What did it know that I didn't? With the end in sight, sheer willpower took over. How'd I do? You did incredibly, and uh, we did a, we kind of threw you to the dogs there. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you call it? Now you tell me. Sent you over the edge with very little instruction, but um, you did fantastic. Yeah, I thought it was great. What did you think? I, I, once I took that first step, it, taking the first step was the hardest, but with you guiding me and telling me, that made it happen. I couldn't have done it. I could not have done that alone. I would have stayed out. I'd still be out there right now like this. You know, but I recommend well, it. I'd even try it again. There you go. Well, I'm thoroughly impressed. There are much easier ways to take in the gorgeous views of the Mount Washington Valley. But why go easy when you can work for it and appreciate this view from a whole new perch? Mm -hmm.